Yo guys, what's going on? Ruthless Rain here. Welcome to another video. This one's a different video. This is going to be a story time video. Um, I've actually picked up a Shadowless Charizard Holo only a few hours ago. Um, it's actually in near mint condition, so it's absolutely incredible. I mean, um, to get that kind of card, it's so rare. We really don't even know how many of them are really out there. Um, so I'm going to start the story time in a minute um, with that. I'd also like to introduce Teddy. Teddy here is the Ruthless Rain... Um, uh, <laughs> Mascot, I guess you'd say. He's a very good boy and uh, he's a big fan of all of my videos and loves the cards. So, hello everyone, this is Teddy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll go through what happened with the card. So first of all, I do keep an eye on local buy and sell pages. Um, I'm also in Australia and not in a massive city in Australia, one of the smaller cities. So while I do keep an eye out on what cards are out there and everything, um, there isn't a lot of stuff out there. A lot of the cards which do come up are, you know, really newer products or bulk or um, every now and then you might see like a, a Watsy um, card, but it might be like just really damaged or just really expensive. Sometimes you see people put up like first edition cards and then, you know, it's from Evolutions or something like, it's just most of the time, the people don't, like people, it's not their fault, but they don't really know what they're looking at. So anyway, fast forward to yesterday um, and I'm just scrolling and I come across a Shadowless Charizard and it was worth about 275 USD or 400 Australian. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, it must, that's, well, I mean, first of all, Shellless Charizard, like, I've never even seen this, but um, that's awesome, you know, like, what, what's wrong with it? That's my first thought. So I looked at the pictures, and the pictures are fine, like, really, you know, not PSA 10, but really good condition for a Shadowless Charizard, like, the hollow's really clean, the back's just a little bit of stuff, but not that much at all. So I'm getting really excited, and I messaged the um, person who ended up being a lady, and um, I offered uh, 350 Australian, or... 240 USD. Um, in my head, I'm thinking, you know, this will be fantastic if it goes ahead. I mean, you know, let's get a Shallow's Charizard. I mean, just to own it, that's awesome. Um, so thankfully, she accepted that. Um, and then, so I was like, that's sweet. And then I had to figure out the logistics of getting the card. So to get the card, I um, I did have to drive a little bit out of the way, probably about two hours straight after work. I had to leave work just a little bit early, but I did get it. It's a bit hard for her. She had to kind of duck out of work, um, but we did make it, which was good. So I've picked up the card and I'm going to go through that shortly um, and show it off really well in person. I don't want to do it this way because I don't think I'm give it the true quality it deserves. But anyway, I met the lady and it all went really well. It was a bit of a tight squeeze because I had to drive, get there um, in peak hour traffic. But I did make it, which was really good. And I, the card's now safely home. Um, and it was just a really interesting experience. You know, I talked to her briefly and she said she had lots of messages. Um, and thankfully, as I was the first one, I was able to get it. So I felt very lucky in that sense. Um, I also think it's incredibly, really good value for the price that it is. Um, and, you know, to own a Shellless Charizard is so cool. And, yeah, it was just a really interesting experience. You know, sometimes you think, oh, you know, I'm not going to find anything on certain sites or certain local sites and, you know, it's not worth it. But every, you, never, you really never know what you're going to find. Um, so it was a pretty incredible experience. So I'm going to show off the card now and um, let me know what you think. And let's check it out. Without further ado, here is the card. Oh, look at it. Shadowless Charizard. It's just gorgeous. I'm a bit nervous holding it, but I want to carefully show it to you guys. There is the beautiful hollow. What do you guys reckon? Uh, it's just stunning. Look at it. Just so many stars and the fire. It's just beautiful. In terms of the actual hollow itself, it actually looks pretty clean. Maybe like the faintest print line here or scratch here. But honestly, like, keep in mind this is a Shadowless Charizard. Like, this isn't a base... Unlimited. This is a shadowless Charizard. It doesn't have to be PSA 10. Like, I knew when I bought this, it was probably not, definitely not PSA 10. But, like, just to own it, I'm stoked. Really nervous holding, actually. Back is also really nice. Uh, in terms of damage, this area, good. Tiny white in here. Bit of white in here. And probably the most up here. But overall, and maybe a dot there, not sure. Overall, though, what a card. Like, shadowless Charizard. Especially because it's a local pickup, like, you got to realize that that's just crazy to pick up one of these cards locally. Like, I'm getting, it's getting to the point, I don't know, like, do you guys try and find local cards? It's getting to the point, like, honestly, I can barely find, like, an unlimited Charizard. So to find a Shadowless Charizard, wow. Uh, what do you guys reckon on the grade? I've done a good look at it, and I'm kind of around the 7 mark. I'd be really happy with a 7. Five or six, I'd be a bit disappointed. Eight, it'd be insane. But I think it's probably a seven because PSA is super picky now. Um, so I might wait a little bit to um, send this one in for grading. I also don't want to send it in because um, I'm going overseas with my wife shortly for a little trip. So I don't want to do it then. 
and like you know have the package come back if I'm not here. But seriously, what a card! I've added this one. This one will be going to PSA soon enough. So happy with this. Really cool little bonus point. It actually came with a Shadowless Charmeleon and a Shadowless Charmander. So it came with a little three pack, which is actually kind of cool to see them all together. Little boy, middle middle boy, the big boy. So yeah, thank you for checking this video out, guys. What? Tell me what you reckon of the uh, potential grade of this card, and have you like picked up any really cool cards yourself locally? I guess like maybe like five years ago when Pokemon was kind of pretty much a niche, like this was that would probably be easy. But nowadays it's like pretty popular. A lot of people know that like they've got Pokemon cards, like they're worth a little bit of money. But yeah, what do you reckon, guys? Please subscribe to my channel. Also, I really appreciate that. I'm almost up to 300 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate to um, any subscribers at all to get me to that goal. And yeah, check. I will be submitting this to PSA probably in about. Maybe a month and a half or so, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes no matter what. Thank you for checking out the video and the gorgeous Shadowless Charizard. Hope you have a great uh, Christmas now, actually. It's coming up very quickly, so all the best, and thanks again. Cheers.